Hello everybody, welcome to another CSK editing tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this grid effect that you're seeing on screen now. Alright, so to begin with, what we need to do is download HLE. So head over to advancedeffects.org and download the latest version. Once you have it downloaded and installed, just open up HLE, go to file, launch CSGO. Go to csgo.exe file, click browse, and head over to wherever you have your game installed and just select csgo.exe. Uh, if you want to, you can enable a config parent folder. I've made a video on how to do that. And then for graphic resolution, I like to enable this and set the resolution. And I like to record in windowed mode. So uh, that's up to you. Click launch. All right, once you're in CSGO, just close the console. And then you should see this valve and the cheat message pop up. That means HLE is working. Press Shift F2 on your keyboard to bring up the demo UI. Click load and go ahead and load up a demo. All right now to get the Lux layer, which is what we need to uh, use to create the grid effect, uh, we need to use most streams. So if you're not familiar with Merv Streams, I suggest watching the Merv Streams tutorial, but I'll go through it again. So to get the layers, just type exec fx slash update workarounds. So you should see these, uh, you should see this text in the console saying advanced effects CSGO update workaround config loaded. And after that, if you type Merv Streams prints, and then you should see the layers that we have added. And then if we want to preview these layers, just type most streams preview, and then the name of the layer. So my mat is the green screen. The world is the world. Depth is the depth with the player models. And depth world is the same thing without the player models. Then to stop previewing, just type no stream preview, then end like that. Now to get the Lux layer, we need to type these commands that you're seeing on screen now into the console. I will also leave them in the description. And I've also made a config with the commands in it. So what you have to do is type exec Lux. So that's what I'm going to do, exec Lux. And then you should see a bunch of text saying editing stream Lux. And then if we do most streams print again, you should see a Lux layer under the depth world. Then if we preview, you should see something like this. And uh, this is what we're going to record to get the uh, grid effect. All right, once you have all those added, just type post frame rate. Set the frame rate to whatever you want to record at. I recommend at least 300 FPS to get the most out of it. Uh, 600 uh, is what I would probably recommend, depending on what kind of editing you're doing. But for this tour, I'm going to do 150 because I don't want to sit here waiting for the entire clip to record. Then type host timescale, set that to zero. And if you want to record the audio type merv snd underscore timescale, set that to one. I don't really record the audio, so I'm just going to set it back to zero. And then to set the recording directory, just type merv streams record name and then enter the directory. So I'm going to put it onto my F drive in my clips folder, like so. Then once you have all that done, just type both streams record start. It will start recording and just resume the demo. Uh, the demo will probably look pretty laggy like so. That's fine. Uh, that means the game is just recording. And once your clip is finished and you want to stop the recording, type remove streams record end. All right. And once you're done recording, go over to wherever you have the directory set to. And you should see a folder called take 000. And then you should see a bunch of other folders with all the layers in it. If you open it, you should see a bunch of TGA files like so. Then what you need to do is open up virtual dub and just drag and drop any of the uh, TGAs into here. And you should see uh, the clip like this. Go to video, go to frame rate, set the frame rate to whatever you recorded it at. So I did 150 to save a bit of time. I like to select no audio. Go back to video, go to compression. And then from the list, I like to select Lagriff lossless, go to config, 
Uh, these are my settings, so YV12, and I like to use multi-threading. Just press OK, go to File, Save As, and then just name the uh, name the file whatever you want, and then save it as an AVI. I've already done this just to save a bit of time, so that's pretty much it. All right, and once you have all the layers like this, you should see Depth, Depth World, Lux, Matte, and the World layer, like so. Now what we need to do is head over into After Effects to do the actual editing. All right, so once we're in After Effects, go ahead and import your clips into a new composition. So these are the layers that I've added, the Matte World, Lux, and the Depth World. Go ahead and add Key Light to the uh, Matte layer to get rid of the green screen, just like that. Then what we need to do is select the Lux and the Depth World layer, right click on them, recompose. Uh, I would name the composition to something that you would remember and then just open in a new composition. Make sure you check move all attributes to new composition, just like that. Then what we do is duplicate the Depth World layer and we can go ahead and hide that. We'll use that in a second. And then I'm also gonna hide the Lux layer. For the Depth World layer, what we need to do is add a colorama up the input phase and the output cycle. Now for the yellow, set the opacity all the way down. Same with the greens, the aqua, the blue, and the pinks like that. Then add hue and saturation. Go to channel control, go to the reds, set the saturation all the way to negative 100, and the lightness all the way up to 100. Then with the yellows, do the same thing, negative 100, then max it out and then do the same with the magentas as well, just like that. Once you have that done, we can go ahead and levels, just like that. All right, then for the second death world layer, put that on top, add invert, and then add levels as well. Set the mode to multiply, just like that. Then for the levels, what we need to do is just adjust the uh, sliders. So, so what we need to do is just try and set the uh, the blacks as dark as you can, and then try and make the whites as uh, bright as you can as well. So do that for both of the layers. Now, if you've done everything correctly, you can head over to phase shift in the colorama settings, and we can move around this slider like this, and you should be able to see this effect happening when you move around, just like that. Now, if you're happy with that, go ahead and go to the very start of your clip, click the stopwatch, then go to the end of your clip, like that, and go ahead and keyframe the phase shift. I'm just going to do like negative six, and then that will keyframe the uh, phase shift like that. All right, once you're done with that, go ahead and select both of your depth world layers, right click on them, recompose them again, uh, give it a name. And uh, go back to the original composition with the Lux layer in it. Go ahead and enable the Lux layer. Add key light to it to get rid of the green screen. Just like that. Put the Lux layer below the, uh, the new composition that you just made. And then set the track mat to Luma mat. Just like that. Uh, you can go ahead to the key light settings. Go to view. Set this to screen mat. And we can go down to the screen mat options and then just mess around the settings a bit so set the clip back to around 22 and we can change the clip white to something like 56 or something like that uh, you can mess around with the settings to uh, whatever you like just like so all right and once you have all that done go back to your original composition you should see your pre-comp that you have i reckon re renaming this to something like lux then we can go ahead and put this in between the world and the matte layer. Set the mode to screen, just like that. And then if we go and play it, you should be able to see the animation playing like this. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can go ahead and do whatever editing you want to it now. That's pretty much the effect. Uh, of course, if you really want to, you can go back into the uh, pre-comps and mess around with the settings. So you can adjust the uh, levels uh, some more if you want to. Uh, we add deep glow to the, uh, the Lux layer. That's probably a bit much, so I shall turn it down a bit. 
something like that, maybe make it nice and bright like that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.